Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. To your younger brothers and sisters who would want to take up engineering in the future. And to your relatives. That's one way you can keep me going inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also, please don't forget to subscribe. So let's have Engineers in Progress 2.8. Although this is Special Product 5, some of the problems here are applications of the preceding Special Products. So this is the new formula. So quantity x plus y plus z square is, let's make it, let's group the first two, quantity x plus y plus z, then quantity square or times quantity x plus y plus z. So this is square of the first group plus twice the product of the two terms, x plus y first term, then z. Then the square of the second term, which is z. So this is x plus y square plus 2 times quantity x plus y times z plus the square of the second term, which is z. And x plus y square is the square of the first, which is x square, plus twice the product, xy times 2, so 2xy, plus square of the second, so plus y square. Then plus 2xz plus 2yz plus z square. So therefore, it is the square of each term, x square plus y square plus z square, plus twice the product of the first and the second, plus twice the product of the first and the third, plus twice the product of the second and the third. So that's the way of remembering this special product. Again, quantity x plus y plus z, there are three terms, quantity square. It is the square of each term, so x square plus y square plus z square. Then twice the product of the first and the second, 2xy, twice the product of the first and the third, 2xz, twice the product of the second and the third, 2yz. So I hope you can easily recall that. So here are the applications, problems. Find the indicated products. Although for this case, this is sum and difference. So therefore, this is difference of two squares and some other uh, product here by FOIL method. So I prepare 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 problems for this video and 4 for you. Uh, 10 problems for my case. This is the 10th and I'll have 4 for you for your exercises or practice so that you can also participate so take note that this is first term x square second term is positive of this quantity then same first term then minus same second term but minus therefore this is the square of the first x square quantity square minus the square of the second so x square quantity square minus quantity 2x minus 3 square so this is x to the fourth minus square of 2x, which is 2x squared minus plus twice the product of 2x and negative 3. So that's the expansion plus 2 times the first term times second term plus the square of the second term, the square of negative 3 for this second uh, quantity, which is squared. So therefore, it is x to the fourth minus 4x square this is negative 12x times negative so positive 12x then this is positive 9 minus 9 so so therefore the answer is x to the fourth minus 4x square plus 12x minus 9 so i hope that you follow the explanation although in this part i directly expand it and I hope that you can follow. So this one, let's write this as x squared minus quantity 3x minus 4x. Then plus times quantity x squared plus quantity 3x minus 4. Sorry. 
x squared minus quantity 3x minus 4, then times x squared plus quantity 3x minus 4. So this is still difference of two squares. So that way, this is difference and sum, so it is the square of the first minus the square of the second. So it is x x square square minus quantity 3x minus 4 square. So we have x to the fourth minus quantity square of 3x is 9x square. So I will directly expand it here. Then the product is negative 12x times 2, so negative 24x, the middle term of this expansion. Then the last term is negative 4 square or 16. So it is x to the fourth minus quantity 9x square minus 24x plus 16. So the simplification is x to the fourth minus 9x square plus 24x minus 16. This one is obviously same term, same term, then plus second term minus second term. So it is the square of the first minus the square of the second. So it is quantity x square plus x square minus quantity x square plus 1 square. The expansion of this is x to the fourth, square of the first is x to the fourth. The product is x cubed times 2, so 2x cubed. The last term is x squared. So x to the fourth plus 2x cubed plus x squared. So again, the expansion is square of the first. So x squared squared is x to the fourth. Twice the product, x squared times x is x cubed times 2, so 2x cubed. Then square of the second, square of x is x squared. Then minus quantity x cubed squared, x to the sixth, twice the product. Since the product is x cubed times 2, so 2x cubed, then square of the second, square of 1 is 1. So the second term is, so minus quantity x to the 6 plus 2x cubed plus 1. So we have like terms here. We can eliminate 2x cubed and negative 2x cubed. So expanding, we have x to the fourth minus x to the 6 plus x squared, then minus 1. Take note that 2x cubed, then minus 2x cubed would be 0. So that would be eliminated. Next is we have quantity x to the 5 minus 3x plus 3x cubed minus 1. x to the 5 minus 3x, which is the same as this, then minus same quantity as this. So this is the square of the first minus square of the second. So quantity x to the fifth minus 3x square minus quantity 3x cubed minus 1 square. Without experience above, this is x to the 10, square of the first, then plus twice the product, then square of the second. So x to the 10 minus 6x to the 6 plus 9x square. Then this one is minus quantity 9x to the 6, twice the product is negative 6x cubed, square of the second is 1. So minus 9x to the 6 minus 6x cubed, then plus 1. Simplifying, so we only combine negative 6x to the 6 and negative 9x to the 6. So it is x to the 10 minus 15x to the 6 plus 9x squared plus 6x cubed minus 1. Or in, in descending order, x to the 10, then negative 6x to the 6, negative 9x to the 6 is negative 15x to the 6, then negative of negative, so positive 6x cubed, then we have positive 9x squared, then minus of positive 1 is minus 1. So this is the square of the first, 2x squared plus y squared plus negative z squared. Negative z squared plus twice of 2x times y plus twice of 2x times negative z plus twice of y and negative z. So simplifying, this is 4x squared 
plus y squared plus z squared plus 4xy minus 4xz minus 2yz. So that's it. So this is square of the first. So x squared plus 4y squared plus square of 3z, 9z squared. So 3z squared plus twice x and 2y plus twice x and 3z plus twice 2y and 3z. So simplifying, I will put the answer here. x squared plus 4y squared plus 9z squared plus 4xy plus 6xz plus 12yz. So that's it. Then next, this is long. So it is, let's group the first two, then group the second two. So quantity 2x cubed plus 3x squared plus quantity 3x minus 2 quantity squared. So it is the square of this quantity, 2x cubed plus 3x squared squared plus twice the product. So 2 times quantity 2x cubed plus 3x squared times 3x minus 2 plus the square of the second, so plus 3x minus 2 squared. So remember, our guide formula is x plus y quantity square, which is x square plus 2xy plus z square, or simply square of the first plus twice the product of the two terms, then the square of the second. So this is the square of the first. So square of first is 4x to the 6. The product is 6x to the 5 times 2. So 12x to the 5 and the square of the second 9x to the fourth. So therefore this is 4x to the 6 plus 12x to the 5 plus 9x to the fourth. This is 2 times quantity 6x to the fourth minus 4x cubed 9x cubed, so plus 5x cubed, then minus 6x squared. So 2 times quantity 6x to the fourth plus 5x cubed minus 6x squared. Then plus the square of the first is 9x squared, product times 2, so 3x times 2 is negative 6x times 2, so negative 12x, then square of the second plus 4. So therefore, this is 9x squared minus 12x plus 4. So, we have to combine 9x to the 4th and 12x to the 4th, which is 21x to the 4th. Then we have 10x cubed, no like terms, negative 12x squared, and we have 9x squared, so we can combine negative 3x squared. So, therefore, this is 4x to the 6 plus 12x to the 5 plus 21x to the 4th plus 10x cubed minus 3x squared minus 12x plus 4. So 4x to the 6, 12x to the 5th, 9x to the 4th plus 12x to the 4th is 21x to the 4th, which is this. Then 2 times 5x cubed is 10x cubed. 2 times negative 6x squared is negative 12x squared plus 9x squared. So negative 12x squared plus 9x squared is negative 3x squared. Then we copy negative 12x and positive 4. So that's why that's the expansion. This is 5 times 2, quantity 2x minus y squared. Then we have negative 15 times 2x minus y and 1 times 2, so 2 times 2x minus y, negative 13 times 2x minus y. Then the last term is 1 times negative 3, negative 3. So 10 times 2x minus y square, then negative 15 2x minus y plus 2 times 2x minus y is negative 13 times quantity 2x minus y. Then the last term, 1 times negative 3 is minus 3. So this is 10 times square of 2x is 4x square minus 4xy, then plus y square. So again, square of 2x is 4x square 
twice the product, negative 2xy times 2, so negative 4xy. Square of negative y is positive y squared. Negative 13 times 2x is negative 26x. Negative 13 times y is positive 13y, then minus 3. Simplifying, so we have 40x squared minus 40xy plus 10y squared minus 26x plus 13y minus 3. So that's the answer. So this one is 3 times 5, so 15 times quantity 4x minus 3y squared. 3 times 7, 21, plus 2 times 5, 10, so 31 times 4x minus y, the last term is 14. So again, 15 times quantity 4x minus 3y squared, plus 31, because 3 times 7 is 21 of 4x minus y, plus 2 times 5, 10 of 4x minus y, so plus 31 of 4x minus 3y, then 2 times 7 is plus 14. So this is 15 times square of 4x is 16x square. Product, negative 12xy times 2, negative 24xy, last negative 3y square is 9y square. So this is 15 times quantity 16x square minus 24xy plus 9y square. Then plus 31 times 4, 124x. Then 31 times negative 3y minus 93y. Then plus 14. Then 15 times 16 is uh, 160 and 80 to 40. 240 x squared, 15 times negative 34, negative 360 xy, 15 times 9, 135 y squared. So 240 x squared minus 360 xy plus 135 y squared plus 124 x minus 93 y plus 14. So that's the expansion. Then for this problem here, we have first term the same, then plus second term minus second term. So th this is the square of the first minus the square of the second. So 2x to the fourth plus x square minus quantity x cubed minus 2x square square. And I hope that you master already how to square binomials. This is the square of the first, twice the product, then square of the second. So it is 4x to the 8, twice the product, so plus 4x to the fifth, then plus x square. 4x to the 8, plus 4x to the fifth, plus x square. Then minus quantity square of the first, x to the sixth. Twice the product, negative 4x to the fifth. Then square of the second, positive 4x to the fourth quantity. So, we have like terms 4x to the fifth and negative 4x to the fifth, which can be combined. So, 4x to the eighth plus 8x to the fifth, or minus x to the sixth, then plus 8x to the fifth, then minus 4x to the 4th, then plus x squared. So 4x to the 8th is this term here. Then negative x to the 6th is negative x to the 6th. 8x to the 5th is 4x to the 5th minus negative 4x to the 5th, so 8x to the 5th. Then minus 4x to the 4th is minus of positive 4x to the 4th, so minus x to the 4th. Then we have plus x squared, which is that. So this is just arranged in descending order of the exponents of the variable. Then, for your part, show that the answer here is equal to x squared plus y squared plus 9z squared minus 2xy plus 6xz, then minus 6yz. Then, for this part, show that the answer is 4x squared plus y squared plus z squared plus 9w squared minus 4xy plus 4xz plus 2yz minus 12xw minus 6y, 6yw then minus 6zw. Then for 5l, show that the answer is x to the fourth plus 6x cubed plus 9x squared minus 16. Then for the last part, 
which is your part. I put the answer here so that it is equal to 108x squared minus 144xy plus 48y squared plus 21x minus 14y minus 10. So that's it and I hope that you'll do your part so that you can participate. Do not say that you mastered algebra already. Just practice.